Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a project polish update and this has been a long time coming. Apparently it has been ages ago since I did a project polish update. So here we are and I have an empty. I'm really excited and I'm going to add in two more. I know. But these two colors are something that I really want to work on and one of them are really appropriate for the season that we are going into. So I thought I was just going to roll with it, you know? This is the empty that I have for this update. This is the Dependent Nail Polish in this wine burgundy red color. I love this shade so much. This was... I love this shade, yes. but. I didn't like the polish itself because it was really sheer and kind of streaky. I love the color. So it is a really, really nice shade. If I can, I would not buy it again, but the Pent is a really, really great brand. And because they are so small, when I reach my goal of not really have any polishes, I would just go with the Pent because these are small. This is done. I'm really excited. and. Yes, I used up all of that Yeah, in, in no time. <laughs> I used it a few times for gradient. Yeah, I, I feel like I've said it before, but it was probably in my empties video and that was probably my June empties video. I feel my hair is all over the place. Maybe it is. Um, I'm sorry if it seems messy. Baby hair all over, you know. So far this year, I have finished off four polishes is that right really only four so the brown the red the silver and then uh, glitter so these are the two colors that i'm bringing in i am going to get to that this is the new red shade that i'm going to work on this is from essie and it is called forever yummy beautiful red shade right here and it is shaking up but i am down to here so that is my marking and yes, it is going to be a long time until I finish this, but this is not coated free and I really want to use that up because of that reason. It is that shit right there that I have added in. It's beautiful. It looks really alike the red that I just finished, so I think it would be no problem. This is the other Essie nail polish that I am working on. It is licorice from Essie, you know. This one right here, yes, it is messy. I, I, I use it all the time. I really like this black nail polish. It, it's not my favorite. Essie is not my favorite nail polish, polish brand. But I'm down to the with the pinkish line right there. I think you can see it. So I'm more than halfway through this and I'm excited. I'm really excited about that. Should I show you on the wheel? It is the black one. Right there. Let me show you this one. Maybe you saw in a few videos last week that I had bright pink nails and it was this one. I thought I could at least use it once before I made this update. And this is a W7 mini nail polish bottle. This one right here. It's really pretty. Pink is just not my shade. So it was really hard to wear that for a few days. <laughs> but I made a small amount of progress. Maybe you can see the other line is just above it. This was a nail polish that I put in just to have fun. I didn't put it in officially in my project polish. So I am going to swap this out uh, or just pull it out of the project at least. So this is going out of this project back into my collection. I have used it once so it's not amazing progress you know but I used it in the summer months and I'm happy about that. Sometimes next year or something. Maybe in the springtime I will roll it into another project and it will get, get used there more than this time at least. To replace that I am going to put in this seasonal appropriate um, nail polish. It's not autumn officially yet, it is next month but I'm in the autumn mood because it's raining all the time in Denmark at, <laughs> at this point. This is the P2 Color Victim nail polish in Heat Some Cocoa. So this is a brownish shimmery I don't even know a bronze brown shimmery shade I wouldn't call it beautiful maybe it's beautiful I don't know yeah maybe it is maybe I can put some glitter on top or something it is this one right there it's really dark bronze color 
and I think this is going to be perfect for autumn or fall or whatever you call it where you are. Uh, we call it something entirely different in Denmark. But this is completely full. I have used it once before when I just bought it. It was nice. It's different but it's nice and I think it is seasonal appropriate for fall and winter. So I'm going to work on this one for a little bit if I want to. Then we have my Catrice Luxury Nude Satin Shine Nail Polish in the light in pure light. This was also a polish if I was feeling it polish. So it is a beautiful nude color and I adore it with the nail polish that I have on its own today. It's a beautiful polish, it really is. And I'm going to put this officially into my project polish because I'm so low at this. I made that much progress since the last up time I updated you so I only have this much left so I really want to have this gone and I think I can do that by the next time we speak so that is going to be really exciting to have a polish done. The last one I'm going to talk about is the Kiko nail polish in nail lacquer at least actually in 221. I don't know the name of this if it has a name but it is a beautiful champagne rosy champagne shade rose gold maybe? It is the one that I have on today. It is absolutely beautiful and I love it so much and I have the smallest amount of progress. It's not from the top line, um, it's just below the second line, if you can see it there. I know I'm stupid, but there and then below the last line there. You get me, it's on a top of each other. <sighs> stupid, but I know. But it is a beautiful rosy shade. It's beautiful. So I'm still going to have this in because I really like to pair it with the nude one. It's going to be the if I want to shade as as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. It was really really lame. I'm so sorry. I, I'm stupid today. I really need to lay down I think and take a nap maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. But I'm really excited for fall time and I think the brown polish is going to be maybe nice with the black and so on. And the black and the red could be something too. I really want to experiment with the gradient nail again. I really like that. And I did the gradient with the red nail polish that I used up and the pink. Maybe I can find a picture of it. I did share it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, you should definitely do. I update you guys all the time on there and you are the first guys to know if something happens actually so because it's kind of in the moment and then i just update my instagram and then everyone knows in my head at least so please check out my instagram if you haven't already i post on there all the time and subscribe to my channel if you want to see the next update for this project i do a lot of project pants on my channel palette bingos and empties and stuff like that and i would love for you to hang out on my channel and stick around and yeah until my next video please take care bye bye <laughs>